Something is telling me this shoe right here is gonna be worth a lot of money someday. Today we're gonna be going over the Air Jordan 1 Low 85 Smoke Gray. Now I know we've seen a lot of different stuff when it comes to the neutral gray Air Jordan 1 Lows and a couple of different retros over the years, but we haven't seen the 85 cut before on the low tops. Oh yeah, and if you didn't know by now, my name is DJ and this is the DNA show. Back in 1985, we originally saw a ton of different colorways when it comes to the Air Jordan 1 highs, and one of those colorways was the natural gray Air Jordan 1s. We saw this version in the high top and a low top version, and there were actually only two different colorways that came in this style, the navy and white, and then the gray and white. And over the years, we have only seen a couple different retro iterations, but never in the 85 cut. And a lot of people have their gripes about it when it comes to eight holes in the shoe, or seven holes in the shoe like the previous retro. Either way, we haven't seen the 85 cut, and that's one of the reasons why I got a feeling these are gonna be worth something someday. And I was honestly shocked when I went into the store and saw them just sitting on shelves. But again, I get it, times are crazy right now. Either way, a lot of history, a lot of nostalgia. We haven't seen something like this since 85. So let's go ahead and start breaking down this shoe. Oh baby, here we go. Now, as you guys can see right here, we have a switch up with the box, not only with the color, but the size of the box. And I feel like they came a lot more premium as well as the letters and the swoosh is raised up a little bit right here when it comes to the shiny red branding with the Nike and the swoosh. And then on the box, actually it's a lot more narrow giving you that old school vibe. And even on the sides of the box, you can see it's got more of a texture. It's raised up right there on the back end and on the side right here. And then going to the size tag, it reads Air Jordan 1 Low 85 Summit White Light Smoke Gray. Now. We've talked about this plenty of times in the past. It was the natural gray, then it was the neutral gray, now it's light smoke gray. When are we gonna get the natural grays back? Oh yeah, and by the way, size 13 just for me. Now lifting open the lid of the box right here, you got your all white paper, and this actually is kinda like doubled up with the paper, and then you got the shoe. Oh, you got the shoe. Okay, first impressions of this sneaker. Now I have only seen one pair before, of the 1985 version of these like in hand so it's kind of hard for me to say because of the shape and everything but they definitely did it when it comes to shape it's not like the new retro og style so i like that but the materials these are solid these are better than the high tops i'm excited to compare these to the high tops so before we get started breaking down the shoe we have to talk about the lows and the highs this is the og retro low this is the recent one, what was this, like 2019 or 2020 or something? I don't remember, one of them years. And this is the 85 Air Jordan 1 High that we recently seen retro as well. But before we get into all that, we gotta talk about this shoe first. So let's go ahead and start breaking these things down. Looking at the outsole right here, you got your classic. Now when I say classic, I always say that, but this is your classic Air Jordan 1 outsole, 85 style. Like that's what I love to see, this is so dope. So it's a lot more skinny right here around this area, which you guys can see the difference between the photos of the retro pair compared to the 85 cut right there. Definitely a difference. And then obviously the pattern around the front end, around the toe, the stars, the placement, the size, the shape, everything's just a little bit different. Now going up to the midsole right here, instead of like the 85 high, you see the white midsole on those, they actually did a cell midsole with a cell stitch. Looking at the midsole between the low tops, you can see right here, a lot more texture on this 85 style. And that's what I really love. I like how they brought that element to the midsole as well. Now going up to the upper, honestly bro, the materials on these is nice, bro. Like low key, I need to get another pair. But the retail, the retail was kind of high. That was the problem. Like, what was it, 160, 170, something like that? Like, people was like, damn, that's like the high top price. And the high top price is going up even more. But at the end of the day, I understand why when I feel this shoe in hand, when I touch the leather, when I touch the materials. Now what they say is they use a synthetic leather on the retros and they say they use a real leather on the 85 cuts. So to me, if that's what they're still going with, this is a lot more similar to the black and white 85 ones that recently came out. That was earlier this year as well. The materials, a lot more similar. Obviously the black and white is a little bit more matte when it comes to the finish, but the texture and the feel of it, a lot more softer. So I need to put these on too to try them out to see how they feel because some pairs are really stiff. And these ones, I feel like, just based off the feel in hand, I feel like these are gonna be comfortable. And then on the tongue, you have your mesh to Oh, actually, this is a canvas tongue. You got a canvas tongue, and then you have your standard flat white laces. You have a white patch with the smoke gray, <laughs> Nike Air branding right here in the middle of the tongue. And then going into the sock liner, all white right here. It's a lot thicker actually on this sock liner compared to 
the other pairs. This is interesting. I'm, I'm interested to put these side by side between the 85s. Now another iconic branding before we get into the insole. Right here on the side, you got your classic hit. The size 13 right there and then the color code on the side of the foot on the inside of the sock liner that's something that we saw from back in the day in 85 and i love how they incorporated that little touch for us sneaker heads now going to the insole all white with the smoke gray nike air branding and then looking in on the back end around here you have like a suede material around the collar and then a suede on the swoosh pretty good size swoosh i know some people have been complaining about the size of the swoosh and everything like that two gripes or three gripes a lot of people say when it comes to low top OG ones or 85 cuts or whatever it may be, is the amount of holes. So right here, you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight holes. Now, if you look at the other pair, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven holes. So a lot of people prefer the eight holes because that's like the OG vibe. So that's definitely a nice touch as well. And then the size of the swoosh, this has been a thing. Whether it's like the thickness of the swoosh on this area or how much space it takes up and the height of this area on the side of the mid panel, a lot of people are like, yo, why we always got the skinny swoosh? It's the 85, like why don't do the right thing? Da -da -da. Like you're making a classic colorway, it's the Jordan one. There's so many different things that I hear a lot of people say. So uh, now going on the back end right here, instead of like having like an embossed stamp or like a stitching or something like that they just did like a stamp looks like it's screen printed with the air jordan branding with the smoke gray you got that darker color gray right here and then that's kind of like it when it comes to this shoe details materials cuts everything i think these are solid like i like these again i never had the 85 so like i'll take what i can get and low-key I think I need to double up because I be rocking the, the neutral grays a lot and I know I'm going to be rocking these. So now that you guys have seen a little bit more of the sneaker, let's go ahead and start comparing these to the 85 highs so you guys can see the exact differences and then let's compare them to the neutral gray retro lows. So as you can see from the toe boxes right here on the 85 high, the toe is a little bit more turned up. There's a little bit more, uh, I guess, depth or whatever you'd like to call it on the front end of the toe area. If you put this actually side by side with the toe down you can see that it looks a little bit more narrow on the 85 pair and this one's a lot more wider but we did see that as well when it comes to the 85s when it comes to the og pair of the low tops and the high tops so i can understand that as well now looking at the midsole same thing right here everything is pretty much similar the outsole the grays are a little bit different it's a lot lighter on the high top pair darker on the low top pair and then on the midsole area you have a sail color with the sail stitch compared to that pure white now another thing that i noticed as well the gray suede and the length of the swoosh and everything it's a little bit different the size of the swoosh on the 85 low a little bit bigger i would say maybe i'm tripping but i feel like it is and then this one is a lot i guess i would say more of a, a bluish tone to the low top and this one has more of a, a greenish tone i guess you would say to this gray on the high top and even around the collar, you can see the difference in the colors as well when it comes to these. I guess it's more like a yellow orange kind of color when it comes to the undertone kind of to these, a lot more warmer. And this is a lot cooler, if that makes sense when it comes to the grays. Now, besides that, you got the mesh tongue here and then you have the canvas tongue here. Different switch up on that. The sock liner is a lot thicker. You can see the grain on the mesh here. And then this is a lot smoother and a lot softer. And it's actually thicker and more padded around the low top pair than the high top pair. And then the material is just extremely stiff on the high top so a lot of people were like these are very very uncomfortable you need to quote unquote break them in i'm like i don't want to go through that process i'd rather them just be comfy at the start and then continue to break them in even more but that's just my preference now looking at the difference between the neutral gray low and the smoke gray 85 low you can definitely see a lot of differences when it comes to the shape of the shoe the material textures the color of the shoe and then overall little details there's a lot of differences but obviously to the untrained sneaker wizard out there they're gonna say hey it's the same shoe it might look this one just looks a little bit older we all know there's a lot of differences let's go ahead and break them down so as you can see from the top down right here completely different materials completely different colors the feel of them it does feel different i feel like honestly though like i like this the light tumble the softness of the neutral gray but the 85 smoke gray these ones feel good too so honestly both of these i'm not mad at it they say it's synthetic on these and real leather on these but i ain't tripping now looking at the outsole right here you can see big difference like i was talking about earlier 
classic OG nostalgic, new retro nostalgic OG, right? So you can see a lot more texture on the little areas right here, and then a lot more texture right there. And it's a wider outsole, so you can see right here, there's a lot more width on the middle part around the Nike branding. And then around the toe, the stars, the placement, the shape, just how it rounds up, a lot different on that. And then going to the midsole, same thing. You see this pattern and this pattern look really close. Yeah, there's a lot more texture on the 85 cut as well when it comes to that. Now, obviously, yeah, pure white, white stitch, sail, sail stitch, and then onto the swooshes. Hopefully you can see the differences between these. The swoosh is a lot bigger on the 85 low compared to the neutral gray. And then same thing right here. Honestly though, let me feel this. The, the laces on the neutral grays are nicer than the laces on the smoke gray 85 low. At least I think. I don't know. These 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 are some really nice laces that come with these. Now look at the back end. Neutral grays. It just looks a little bit sloppier, I would say. It still looks clean, but the way it's kind of embossed and stamped into it, it and it's got that shine to it, it's, it doesn't look as nice as the 85 low. So to me, that detail in particular, and then obviously the size of the swoosh and the other elements too, definitely sets the 85 apart from the neutral gray retro that we recently saw. Now. This is my question like I do all the time on my Instagram. I ask the people the question, is it shoe fire or is it shoe trash? If you haven't already, make sure you follow me on IG so you can participate in the polls and see the results here on the channel. Ask them the simple question, this is what they said. 82% of the people said this shoe was fire and 18% of the people said this shoe was trash. Now those results, Honestly, makes sense. I get it. Not everybody's gonna love it. Not everybody wants the OG nostalgic thing. The price point might be too high. A lot of different elements. But at the end of the day, I feel like a lot of people still respect this shoe. But there's just so many sneakers releasing right now, it's hard to keep up. Now, when I compare them to the neutral gray lows from a few years ago, I was interested by these results because I know a lot, and I mean a lot, a lot of people loved this shoe when it came out. I saw everybody rocking these and I was not mad at it. I was rocking them myself too. Well, not this pair, because this, this is my, I'm holding these on ice still. But I asked them a simple question. Which shoe do you like more? And this is what the people said. 66% of the people chose the 85 cut, and 34% of the people chose the neutral grays. And to me, it makes complete sense. Like, this is a great shoe, yes, but these walked so these can run, and we all gotta respect the OGs. Plus, I think these are nicer than these, so at the end of the day, I understand those results. Now, the next one that I'm really interested to see is what people think about these compared to the 85 highs. Because this retro, a lot of people were happy about it, but again, they were mad about it because of the stiffness and everything like that. And I personally think that this low top is better than the high top. Now let's see what the people think. 43% of the people chose the low tops and 57% of the people chose the high tops. What do you guys think about those poll results? Let me know down below in the comment section. Maybe I've changed your mind after the video. At the end of the day, I'm not here really to persuade you at all. I'm just here to show you the differences and give you guys my opinion along the way. But. I'm interested to see what you guys think. I would love to hear your comments down below. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and we got a lot of dope releases coming out for this winter. So stay tuned for those reviews as well. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and I'll see y'all in another one. I would never let you down. So before you go, I just launched my Sneakerhead Academy where we got everything on the inside. I teach you all the stuff that I learned over the past 15 years when it comes to sneakers, scaling, real estate, you name it. We talk about all of it in there. And there's an eight week program plus a bunch of monthly giveaways. I give away shoes literally way too much honestly but either way i'll see you guys on the inside hit the link down below in my description or pinned in the comment section for dj sneakerhead academy and i'll see you guys over there